What's up guys, it's Maxwell back with the next planning and attacking live video. Alright guys, welcome to the video, thanks for stopping by. Um, today is going to be a bit different if you saw the last videos of me where I cooked every troop with you guys. Today I already have my army ready, that's because um, I, th I thought of doing this video sort of late. But yeah, as you can see it's going to be a queen hoe, so um, we are going to have a little bit of a queen walk, uh, hawks and then um, bowlers with the king. So let's go ahead and find out the base. Of course I am with my tower 9 and one knife and victor. Shout out to those guys, awesome clan. I really enjoy it over here. Um, yeah, so we are going to be hitting number 29. This base has been hit before, but with a strange um, dragon attack. We are not going to do that. Um, we are going to queen walk this baby. And we are going to start the queen right here on this army camp. Um, and then the queen, um, we are going to place her... Placement is going to be a little bit crucial. We are probably going to place her um, yeah, right uh, at 8 o'clock right here, parallel to this army camp, just so that she um, is definitely going to take out the arch tower. I'm even thinking about placing her a bit further down, like for example here on this wall or something, to uh, safely be able to get the archer tower. I definitely want the archer tower out of the way, just so that it does not target my healers later. Um, yeah, we're gonna have the queen walking up, take out this gold storage mortar, obviously she's gonna engage enemy queen, uh, take her at, out at some point in time. In this dragon raid, the clan castle did not come out, so I am expecting a lava hound, um, it's pretty safely gonna be a lava hound actually, so a lava hound is gonna come out, um, sometime with the queen standing around somewhere around here, which should be okay, she's only gonna, there's a, by the way, there's a tesla behind this mortar here, like between mortar and wizard tower, so it should not be any worry, she's only gonna have an expo and like a wizard tower on her, so, um, I'll be able to take out the lava hound. I've got another rage spell for that then, I've got two poison spells, and then we've got a tesla farm behind these three storages here guys, so we are going to have to do something for that, and that's why I want to use my king, so um, I'm going to place a minion over here pretty early just to be able to take out this gold mine, have the queen um, do her thing a bit quicker, the minion is also going to take out the builder hut, I'm going to have another minion working over here on this army camp, and that minion is going to also take out the elixir collector, and by that we should be able to place our king on one of these two, um, yeah, gold mine or collector. Bowlers in behind to take out the Tesla farm and hopefully all three wizard towers. Um, the queen should also live and go through that. So the, uh, those troops are pretty much just to, um, yeah, make that a bit stronger, have the queen survive. Um, then we are going to send in hawks from the bottom here to these two defenses and the hawks if as you can see um, obviously the cannon the expo are going to be left standing but other than that the hawks should work their way through the base i'm going to place the first heal spell somewhere around these three defenses over here i've got two heal spells second heal spell is probably going to follow shortly after somewhere around here i would think um, i'm going to have at least one wizard on cleanup here early behind the hawks to, to get these pesky storages out of the way. I'm gonna have some more minions to do cleanup over here. And I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna place a minion over here as well. Um I sort of I'm sort of torn between wanting my king to go down to take down enemy king as well. Uh, but maybe it's gonna be too much damage with the Tesla farm. I'm not quite sure. Uh yeah, I think I'm going to have a minion working over here as well, just to make it a bit safer for the king to go and take out the Tesla farm tank for the bowlers. And that should then be good to go. So with so many hawks, I've got so many hawks. How many hawks do I have? 26. I'm even thinking about placing, um, placing another... Um, giant in front of the king to nego negotiate a little bit of damage from the teslas but yeah well that's not really gonna help out the giant is gonna get roasted so quickly i'm gonna have to pop the king ability very early as well but yeah that's all good um as far as the hawk deployment goes i'm gonna go with the two finger drop on those two defenses and then i'm probably gonna trail in a couple more hawks down here so i'm gonna save myself about like maybe six seven hawks send 20 of those guys in right away and um, yeah that should pretty much be able to take out the base i think I think it's a pretty solid plan, I really like it, and um, yeah, looks like my queen is going to be ready in a minute, so whenever she's ready to go, we are going to do it. Alright guys, looks like we are ready to go, um, so without further ado, let's go in. I've been thinking about my queen placement again a bit, and I'm going to place her on this wall. Um, 
I think I'm gonna take out this gold mine just to be safe to have her not walk down. I'm a little bit afraid of that. Um, if I place a wizard there, the wizard can um, do some nice work already uh, as well. So yeah, the Archer Tower should be out of range. So um, yeah, I think I think we're good to go. So let's start things off right about now. Okay, um, I'm actually gonna start off with this minion over here, kind of want to get that going, and then the wizard, and then we should be able to place the queen pretty soon, let's go right about now. Healers are working, we've got one archer over there, we need another minion um, here. And yeah, the rage spell is late. Ooh, okay. Wow. That's when you focus on your minions and not on your queen. Should probably not do that. We can already get a couple minions down here for cleanup. And yeah, I said, uh, said I was going to place one over there as well. Um, Lava Hound should come out any moment now. And whenever that is out, we are going to start off with the king and stuff. Well, actually, I'm I'm going to start now with the king. Tesla's out of the way. Actually, maybe the lava one's going to stay inside the base, which shouldn't be a bad thing either. Looks like we won't need our rage spell here. The bowlers are doing some nice work. The king should get in front now, though. Come on, king. Go down there. Tank the Teslas. Yeah, there we go. Nice king. All right. The lava one's going to stay inside and focus on the hawks. That's actually really good for me. Um... I'm gonna pop king ability and then let's go with the hawks as i said i'm gonna save some lava hound is out now so the queen is gonna have to deal with that but it's all good let's go with the first heal spell right here send in some more hawks from the bottom as we were planning to do um second heal spell is gonna go down in the core Looks like I healed up a grand total of three hawks there. Let's just enrage everything over there. And that should pretty much be the triple, guys. A little bit hectic, but able to pull it off. So, yeah. I'm going to place my cleanup. I'm not going to do the swagging. Um, it's all good. I'm going to pop queen ability, get through the wall. And that's going to be a nice triple. Really pleased with how that went. It was actually very good that the queen did not lure out the lava hound. That um, negated quite a bit of damage from my queen. Um, or it didn't slow her down, I guess. And then the lava hound was onto the king. Queen was able to kill it. So yeah, went really nicely. Take a look at how many troops I had left. So um, definitely a good plan, I would say. And um, yeah, decent execution as well. I was Let's watch that back, actually. Um, I was a bit late with my first rage, but... I, almost would have had to pop queen ability well i guess we saw that i did not need queen ability but yeah um, i just wanted to get my minions down early just so that i would not forget about those but then i also wanted to um, get my queen working just so that i would not waste that much time um, so you can see that the rage spell is going to be late because i was pl still placing uh, minions um, queen actually engaged enemy queen a bit earlier than what i expected so rage spell should have gone down right about now and yeah, it went down about two to three seconds too late, but uh, luckily that ended up not mattering because um, yeah, there was not that much point defense on my queen, so that was worked out really nicely for me. And then right here, check the clan castle radius, guys, and let's find out how close the queen was to luring out the clan castle. Um, that's actually really interesting to me. So she's almost in range now. Then a Tesla pops. That was good because that lured her uh, up a step, I think. So yeah, she went a step up. And then she targeted the Elixir storage. At this point, I decided to um, place my king a bit further down towards 9 o'clock and just go in with the bowlers. Just because the queen was tanking so nicely, the wizard tower was tanked by the queen. And then it uh, by the king and then it focused onto the queen at this point i was anxious of the teslas popping and my bowlers getting targeted but luckily the king stepped out in front just in time so very good timing there on the king and bowler stuff 
And then Queen already took out the first Tesla. And there's, of course, now the, the Lava on is going to come out. The Bowlers are going to lure it. But look, it's going to focus on the Bowlers and then on the King. And that was so good. And then I was obviously able to go with the Hawks. Because, um, yeah, uh, everything that I needed to be taken out over there was taken out. The first heal spell was really good. And it was just at the right time. I think the second heal spell was slightly off. My Hawks sort of split on me. And I think I... I tried to heal near the expo, but yeah, that heal spell was was not ideal, but I pretty much could have swagged the heal as well. I didn't really need that. I probably could have swagged uh, a heal spell and a rage spell on this attack. So um, yeah, but still, I am I mean, I want to get the win for the team. I don't want to make it close. Um, I don't need to swag. I uh, yeah feel pretty confident about my uh, attacks um, anyways. I don't have to show off. So that's why I decided to use those two spells. Pretty much a heal spell and a rage spell I could have swagged. But yeah, it's all good. So many troops left and um, really happy with this attack, guys. Um, also... I hope you enjoyed the plan. Next time I'm gonna um, try to make sure that I um, include all the troop cooking and that stuff as well. And that actually, take a look. That actually um, wrapped up the six pack for me. So the first one was fresh hit three star already as well. So really happy about that. Hope you enjoyed the video. And until the next one, I will see you all later. Peace out.